here we go, YouTube. We got the Acaso Brave 4 attached to our carbon cub. And I'm nervous. Uh, it's adding a lot of weight. It, um, I checked the CG, looks good. Camera's rolling. There's nothing left now but to go and fly. Wish me luck. All right, guys, as you could tell on my takeoff, I was literally two feet from my camera stand and I just about knocked it over. As you can see, whew, it was close. I really didn't plan to get that close. So this footage is the Acaso in the air on the airplane and I think it is awesome. The sky is beautiful, the landscapes. Um, couldn't ask for more myself, but check it out all you Acaso fans. This is shot at 1080, 60 frames a second. Gotta have duct tape, guys. Lots and lots of duct tape. So, as you guys could tell, that landing was yet to be desirable. Um, it kind of broke the landing gear assembly out. I had recently glued it back in. Um, so all that tore out. All I had was duct tape here in the field. And I was bound and determined to get some more content. I wanted to get back up in the air. Yes, the duct tape is quite ugly, I will admit. Um, I do recommend using glue or hinge tape. Honestly, guys, I really find it so fun. You wreck your plane, you have a few utensils, you get it pasted back together, you put on a new prop, as you see I do here, and you get right back out there and flying. So much fun. <laughs> As you guys could tell, take two was probably not as good. It almost like it literally got lightning struck out of the sky. So unfortunately, here we go. This plane was actually not damaged whatsoever in this little crash we had here. Um... I took the camera off and did some more flying after this, honestly. So I'll give you a quick overview with the way the Acaso went with the Cub. Um, the Cub was underpowered. Got one good flight, pinned it the whole time. It also includes a little bit of wreck footage, so everybody likes that as well. Um, however, the Acaso, I did put it in the waterproof case for extra protection. and. Um, here in a bit we're gonna take it apart and make sure it's all tip-top shape and nothing happened to it. The cub has a few more bumps and bruises and again we taped it back together and I uh, took it up for two more flights after I took this guy off. Uh, one thing that's not helping me out today is that it's hot and the air is thin and uh, so that is a factor there but another good day of flying with the cub. <laughs> 